towards the very site that EG want them to hit. Very, very close, just on the edge of that smoke. Oh. Bustio, though, has managed to sneak right by them, and it will obliterate from behind on short. Three kills and two players left in the bathroom. The spike down in the open, and this round already in the hands of EG. Look at the <laughs> repositioning from Calm. I think he might just rob away the potential for that ace to come through. Oh, oh. he's missed the shot, though. Maybe a chance. I don't want to see him get the kill. I want to see Bustio go for the fight, but Calm's being pressured. He won't give up his life for the ace. Had a captain. He's going up against a full lineup of players. He's not going to get anything done there. It's going to be EG to take themselves the pistol round. And again, it, it seems like Bustio is so good at positioning himself ready for whatever is planned. Like, the whole idea there is to pop, pop flash straight through the smoke, Spike using that KO eight. to basically garner you that extra space. So he just plays close to that utility, avoids any flash, and just has a perfect backstab on the player's foot. Pistol round going their way. A good start to the defensive side again, where we kind of expect the majority of rounds to come through for either of these sides. And for now, at least. Early pop flash. I like it. Pop flash through in towards showers. Try and find any early aggression. Instead, it's going to be in towards lamps. This is just classics, though, Mitch. Like, realistically, any damage here is a win. Yeah, that's why you see the utility thrown out, just trying to push these players into an uncomfortable fight. Or even, ma even make them go down to the util alone. Oh, no, no, there it is. The nade with the double. Serious damage done. And that pretty much neuters any possibility for these weaker weapons on foot. EG with a solid follow-up. They could have afforded to even lose a player here pretty comfortably, but not even a hope. Oh, I like these sort of maps. This is where you get to say, see Jorgamo kind of move away from that controller and pick up that raise, as we see on the likes of Split. He can have a little bit more fun, be that a little bit more aggressive. And already getting off to a, a flyer of the start. Not too many ultimates online, and you look at the weaponry, it's actually quite light going in for EG. You can already see Demon 1 with enough to buy an operator into the next round, but... This time out, they haven't opted for it. Actually, just sprinting straight down. I don't know how they managed to win this early fight with the weaker weaponry, but they're going to be very happy with that one. Let's see how much Jogamo can get done. Oh, he's gone out wide. Nade up top. It's bouncing back, and well, it's not even playing a role in that. Somehow the Stinger wins out the fight, and EG are looking phenomenal in a round that they should have been able to do some damage in. And instead, they're in a four versus one. An ambitious play from Jogamo, and it works out because he left Maj on 20 or so HP. A third round found for Evil Geniuses and a start to this map similar to what we saw in Pearl. Yeah, the differences with Pearl, though, is that they took a risk. They, they bought an operator up. Yeah. They used their extra finances to basically make that round much more viable. This time they didn't. They had a pistol. They still had a stinger. They just went pushing all the way down in towards the fountain and won two fights that well, I, I don't know how. They managed to take that victory with a couple of players waiting. It's got to be frustrating for Furt and while they've witnessed the Guardian on the other side. It seems Moj has some ideas of his own. Jorgamo, however, is already going to take a lot of early space and do a little bit of damage through. Oh, not again. Of course, Bustio up close, and the flash doesn't even catch him. And the spam's good enough to take one down. Then look who steps okay. up, and look who steps back down. <laughs> Bustio very quickly dealt with. Oh. The spike's in the open, can be defended. That push up from Maj, the one weapon they have to work with now. A few more on their hands, potentially, but Ethan, through the teleporter he goes, and the reward is tenfold. They know where Maj is, and the Seeker only confirms it even further, locking him into a box. Eight bullets left in that magazine. We look to reload it. Well, he's going to have to fairly soon. Snake bite out. Player caught, but no punish. And all the while, it's a slow flank from Demon One, biding his time. With the spike picked up, Maj will look to go elsewhere, but look who's there. No, it's, Ethan. it's Ethan. It's Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> it's the player he knew was there all along. Another big round from it. I do feel like that is just the way that Ethan plays. It's like when they need a hero, he arises, because the start of the round was great for Foot. 
able to win a lot yeah. of those early duels. I, I think you see the confidence coming through from Bustio, attempting to try and push through that smoke. Again, like we, we've already seen Foot manage to bring back a huge deficit, but... <laughs> All right, then. Look, I mean, they're happy enough with a 4-0 to zero lead after the third round going their way. Oh, Even with going? the economic damage they just received, it's not enough to really deter them, to really put a dent in this side. And as we can see, Operator in play. Demon 1 has a TP set up and looks to use it for an early pick. No opportunities given yet, but if Maj wants to cross back, well, it depends. They've used, Demon 1's given up the angle. So they've used the knife early in towards B long. Maybe expecting that that's where he'll be. And that knife not finding him while the bullet landing in Moj's head will instead give them that information. It seems like Foot had an idea of how to counter him, just guessed the wrong place. A lot of utility put out here. I think they're certainly getting the read on this B side play on the way through. It's going to be ignored as Kiwi makes it to the site. A flank attempt at a round through elbow that's being caught. Jogamo. What? Showstopper got nothing, but the rifle gets two, and the nade would have been enough to close it. Uh yeah, he got to step away from his own nade at the end. Five rounds in all. EG barely breaking a sweat so far. I, I, I don't even think, he, like, I'll be honest, that second shot didn't look like he was aiming anywhere near him. Not even close. <laughs> it's just full sprint spraying, but it works out. I think he does most damage to himself through the Molotov, and then <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Manages to survive the round as well. And, we are in the same boat as the last map. Five and zero, EG running away with this. The early fights of Demon oh, 1 down. still yet to die, by the way. And the ult starting to build up for Foot. Maybe there's something they can send into this round. A showstopper, orbital strike, a viper's pit for post. If they can get into a position. Top flashing through the smoke early in the round, but just look how passively the defenders are. They know what's online. They know the ults are available. They're not looking to get in those sort of fights. Oh, that snake bite actually got very close to cracks as the smoke went down. That could have been bad. Kiwi even got tagged up down vulnerable. Now he's out with the showstopper in hand. Jogamo again, able to take two before falling. The damage done with Kiwi and Crack so very, very low. And okay. looks like Moz just joined the club. Sure, they've got the sight. They've done the no. damage in Viper's Pit. Now that could be the difference maker for Moz. 56 uh. HP, staying alive inside of it will be a real challenge. Woo! He's managed to buy himself a bit of time, but there goes the orbital strike and there goes the Viper's Pit. Cracks left on his own. And with a Sheriff in hand, he stands no chance of taking taking down the demon that is demon one. Oh, <laughs> oh, how dare you, how, how dare you. Twitter's gonna go wild at that one. Sorry, X or whatever it's called now. <laughs> People are gonna be reposting that all day. Yeah, they're gonna be reposting that everywhere. They call it now. Six and zero. Yeah, I, I was surprised they used the Viper's Pit. Uh, a bold call, I understand it. Maybe starting to feel a little bit desperate. Jorgamo as well, you, you could just see it. Every single fight he takes, it might seem risky, but he's winning all of them. Again, still three ults to play with. One for Com as well, that Viper's Pit. Maybe utilized to lock down showers. He's set up there at the beginning of the round, but I'm more interested in Demon 1. Six and zero, still yet to die. And that's with even with these risky pushes, he's even expecting the players on the other side. Timing, it's everything, but finally, he'll be put in the grave. Moj, not falling for the same tricks as the last round. Yeah, holding the pixel angle and finally giving him his first death. Demon 1 dealt with in round 7. But there's plenty more facets to this squad, and Jogamo being right behind you is certainly one of them. Oh, he's no. got his way up behind the entire team. He spotted, though. Cracks knew that he was there. Blast pack good though. Throws off Maj's aim. And with some support from Boosty, he's gone running through the wall. They've managed to drop the spike. Got some decent control. The flash coming in, an aid on the back of it. And they are seizing control over this spike. It's not going to be given up. Not today. Even running through a nade. They'll get Jogamo his third of the round. And a captain with a 1v2 to clutch out. Orbital strike online, but he's stunned up. Oh. One HP. And around the corner he goes. He's made it out. And with a post plan, orbital strike. Maybe he still has a chance. By the tiger. I, th I thought he was dead to rights. Very nearly was. He'll get himself into an afterplant. It would be one hell of a way to 
finally take themselves around, but he's up against Com, all reliable. Someone who has been devastating to them in the first map, repositioning in towards the defender's spawn, just basically waiting as he wraps all the way back around. The fact is, time is not on the side of Com. He can't really take this one slow because that Orbital Strike is going to buy a lot off the clock and that's all that a captain is playing for. Just waiting those extra few seconds. He's going to get caught a little bit. He can't go anywhere near that snake bite though. And now the time ticking so low. a Captain, he can't move. He's got to wait for at least a second, but the time is already gone. He'll be able to win it. The one HP Red Bull Clutch and Foot finally, finally have a round. Attaboy. Attaboy. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. They're great. Now, I had a captain. I don't know how he's gotten away with that one, but the first is on the board for foot, coinciding with the first death of Demon 1. Jogamo put his back into that round. He oh deserved the round win. <laughs> he did. That, not just that second kill, but here he sees a nade, hears it coming towards him, and thinks, I'll just go running in. I'll take the fight. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all felt that. <laughs> well, a timeout's been called by Foot after that round. Sure, they've got one up, but they're looking for a few more on this attack side. Yeah, I, I think it's almost maybe just having to calm the heart rate of a few of the players. A, a one HP clutch is not something you're going to see every single day, and it definitely wasn't a clean round. The scarier thing as well is Tour de Force available, Showstopper as well for Jorgama. Okay, it wasn't the most effective thing in the last round, but for now at least, for foot, this needs to be the beginning of something and not just a straight reset back to round losses. As said, they lost that last map after an incredible comeback. And although I, I think no matter who they play, if they were to go into the side, they'd probably be favorites. You don't want to leave that up to chance. Uh, a spot in the top eight awaiting either of these teams for evil geniuses, an expectation for foot. Hey, that would be a huge statement to make the first Turkish team to do that in history. Yeah, they're already accruing accolades game after game here at Champions. Still with that lower bracket beckoning them. There. Wouldn't be the end of their run. But imagine taking down Evil Geniuses, the number one American seed. Would be a huge accomplishment. Oh, this is ulti. Mr. Fallen's decided against it, but now they've seen the player close. It is going to go right back to that defaulted plan. And a lot of players caught up, but still Demon 1 is ready on this angle and the shot. A rare miss for Demon 1. An opportunity for his opponents to capitalize on him with Ethan falling. They've just locked the defenders into Hookah. B yeah. side is theirs. They know that there's a couple of players in here, but knowing and dealing with them is a different thing altogether. The problem is that no command online, the Tour de Force, isn't currently available. Crax is already going to pick off one, but they know who the other player remaining is a Moj on a nasty lurk. is going to pick off Bustio. A chance for this clutch, a two versus five. Looks slim, but the fact is the finances on EG are not bad. They could risk throwing a couple of players in here, but they might just back away to hold on to the guns. Well, that might not be too easy. Let's check Moj's position. Demon one caught off guard. Ulti down, so too is the rifle. And the saving going to be very limited for the side of EG. This is a great response from Foot. I don't think it could have went much better in that round, especially Demon 1 having that whiff to start it off, missing the shot, then removing his ultimate altogether. That has certainly set them up for success. The timer ticking low towards the end of the round. That spike detonating as we speak. And they haven't found Kong. He's nestled his way into the bathroom. Rifle shall be carried through. Yeah, a prime gaming flawless as well for Foot. The best possible way to actually break back into this one. Get the finances flowing once again. And as I said, for the other side of things, it's not really any problems. Demon 1 is going to invest back into that operator. So he'll have that for this round. Okay, light shields, but that's never really been a problem for anybody. And that showstopper still sits online. And that's the difference. Foot over the last couple of rounds have had some ultimates to play with. The Nightfall Null Command used in the prior round. And again, we're going to see the aggressive flash. I like the fact that you can see Adakantin actively backing away at this stage. He does have the spike, though, so that might be the reason. Yeah, don't think you're going to want to go swinging in there, especially when you'll expect Demon 1 to be around every corner at this point. He's been repositioning round after round. 
This time just sat on back B site, foot maybe sensing it. They're on their way to A. They've chosen the right site. It's lighter. The foot set up from Maj going to allow them to creep up close. Not just the wall, but also the orb that's in play. And, well, Maj has just taken down Busio. That's going to prompt Calm to get out of town. Move towards the spawn and play the retake with the rest of his squad. And that's exactly what he's doing. An early advantage. Potential showstopper for the retake, but... Utility has been used to hold them back a little longer. A couple of flashes still for cracks. Unusual to see that this late into the round. So definite potential, but we are going to see the lamps being cleared. The timing doesn't work out, though. And a captain finding another Kiwi ever crisp. And Demon One almost just having to look for exit frags. He's eventually given the fight, but Kiwi takes his head from his shoulders, leaving just Ethan to stop this one being another flawless he will but other than that foot they have found their footing in this game starting to build back in that's what it's all about on the attacking side just finding your legs they've done that oh and they've done it by finding ethan too although he'll be dropping out of captain there's no one else to swing that corner so again the rifle brought through to the next round with this attacking side now building up three in a row i wouldn't be surprised it well there you go see evil genius is calling timeout They'll gather themselves up ahead of this. I mean, look, it could be an equalized half if things keep going this way. And you're seeing Kiwi with the confidence to swing in, take down Demon 1, not even with the Operator. Certainly worrying times for this squad. Yeah, and I, I think it has to be said that expectations for this map in general is that you're going to see the rounds on that defensive side, similarly yeah. to Pearl. So I, I think making sure that this ends up as like a minimum, a half victory, but more so edging towards that 8-4, maybe even a 9-3. That's what the goal will be at this stage. Again, Seekers online, but nothing really else available. And with a showstopper close for Kiwi and him starting to really get going. It's interesting what we're going to see actually invested here. It doesn't look like it's going to be a full buy. The Tour de Force not even close to being online. And actually, since Demon 1 being 6-0, it's been three deaths in a row. Maybe the difference of not being able to get those early kills and potentially even Jorgamo cooling off a bit, which in the early rounds, he was the main devastating force for Foot, was that he just didn't seem to die in scenarios where he probably shouldn't have lived. I mean, he's still sitting 12 and six. You gotta say, it's been a good half for him so far. Uh, Jorgamo, a little bit more maybe needed on this defensive side with three rounds left to play for. They're not really competing in this one. Now, look, we've seen EG win rounds with this yeah. kind of a buy, uh, with worse of a buy, so don't count them out by any means. But they're opting to put most of their resources into round 11. Maybe try to close this one out on an 8-4 half. It wouldn't be a bad score. We'll see. As we said, still potential for them in this one here. And even with Demon 1 on the Classic, you know that Headhunter is in play. Not right now for four <laughs> seconds, but after that. It's patient, though, from foot. Not overextending, not giving anything away. And with those smokes, the brimmy smokes being burnt out over on that defensive side. They're basically just waiting, not wanting to get caught off. We've already seen the shenanigans of Bustio around this close position. Looking like just waiting to see if anybody will make a mistake. The Tiger going through, clearing out. It doesn't leave too many positions still available for them to be in with the flashes going out long at the same time. Nice counter nade, but it's Jorgamo to take the majority of the damage. Uh, I think most of that was just off the Viper wall. That same wall on the defensive side going up now to block them out. Jorgamo lost his life, tried to peek in for info towards the A site. And he's gone down with the wall still up. It's robbing them of info. EG might think that there's already players crept up on A making their way in through the site, and well, they'd be right if that was where their minds went. Having fallen back a bit, Bustio sold that they're not still holding oh. this angle, but Calm has got a spot of his own. Up top hasn't been spotted, and he'll actually delay the plant. He's tucked away. Oh, not quite fully around the corner. Kiwi's able to deal with him, and it looks like that plant is gonna come through eventually. It's not needed, with EG players flooding the site to deny the plant. They've instead lost the round. That or the is, spike can go down. That is an incredibly cool idea. I Just love it. using the edge of his own poison orb up boosted yeah. on the top. That is not something I think any team will have been checking for. A nice little idea from Common. It almost wins them the round. Like the time was getting 
devastatingly close. If he's yeah, able to okay. just survive that little bit longer, maybe even get back around the corner, this could have been a problem. And bear in mind how low the purchase was. They got rid of a showstopper. And it's not bad. Like yeah. they burnt out a few weapons at that, although Thank the you. finances of Foot are fantastic. And now they get that operator back into play, full purchase. See if they can now turn this into a round victory because if Foot can even things up, they are definitely in the driver's seat. So two rounds left to play for in the half. EG, as we said, are looking for that eight round scoreline. They didn't fully buy up last round. They did some good damage, competed for the round and even cost Foot some of their big ultimates, some of their utility. Now as we move into round number 11, this is where they look to capitalize on all the work done before. Very passive stance. A lot of the sky utility from Ethan's being used to lock down control, even over bathroom late into the round with, we've seen the Tiger go through. But Ethan spotted players on B long this time. And that might put a spanner in the works for the side of foot. They wanted to sneak up and get close. Now as they look to move in towards this B site, even with the knife thrown over on A, they're going to be expecting that this is a B play. Yeah, especially with the flash. That's that's why these sky flashes are so vital. Just trying to find any information. 35 seconds left and the nade will be comboed. Looking to come out hooker. There are a multitude of players waiting here. And now Anna Captain has been able to get that orbital strike online. Molly into the corner. They could just try and clear this player out of the tube, but instead they're going to go doubling back. Demon 1 now about to be under pressure, just having to jump out of position. He can't quite correct the aim in time. Foot again, they're gonna get their entry and out of captain. It's just tearing this side apart. Kiwi so aware of the flank coming through as well. It is meticulous from Foot. These quick rotations, these split second decisions have been sublime over the last five rounds. Yeah, you saw the idea to move towards B. They get spotted. They. Pump the brakes a moment. Not sure where they want to take it. And after that flash comes through, I think they were all aligned. They knew the game plan. But the fact that Atta Captain is able to not just drop Demon 1 after his first kill, the ultimate putting him out of position on an uncomfortable angle, but even deliver with the fight towards the spawn. That's the big difference maker. And it's yeah. put EG on the back foot for the final round. I, I think the thing to focus on as well is how Mr. Farlin and Cracks are constantly using their initiator utility to sell ideas. You'll see a knife land from the other side of the map. Prowler sent through one, but it's on a lurk. And then oh. you just have Moj constantly placing in here. Nice work from Ethan, though. And he does have some what? support. He doesn't even need it. This man seems to be the master of the SMGs. It was the stinger in the last map, the specter in this one. And after a five round streak, this is the best chance they've had. But Demon One will again go amiss as Mr. Farland has managed to take him down. But look at what the, the weaponry that EG have brought in. Two judges that'll have to retake if they lose this B side. I mean, they've got to maintain control. Orbital strike in play, it's causing problems. Ethan's gonna be dropped after the one, but Cracks went down to the ulti. Bustio still holding strong on the side, buys them a little bit more time. And now it's those judges from before. The nade in good position, but he can't follow through. It forces him out of his spot into the open. But that's not good enough with a judge in hand. Four bullets. Mr. Fallen needs to swap that over. He knows where that player is coming from now, at least, so the plant can be found. I like the, oh. Sorry, I was going to say I like comms I did a reposition down through long and grab one of the weapons the instead. He is going all the way around. It's definitely the, the least expected of all of the options. I, I don't think there's any world where Mr. Fallen is watching back towards the spawn. This is the most five head play I think I've ever seen. He still has a judge. There's no reason for Mr. Fallen to begin to check this, but it has come into his head that this could be the chance. I don't know how Mr. Fallen read that one, but it's the ace to bring this 6-6 six, six on the half. The big brain IGL evening things up and, well, a streak back from either side, but have leveled it at the break. A 6-6 six to six score line. This started out convincingly in EG's favor and now starting to slip away an ace even to close this one out. As we said, the judges on the retake they have a pretty big disadvantage. Even a classic in that final fight that leaves Mr. Fallen on two HP. It's a narrow margin, but that's the margin by which Foot get back into this game, tie it up neck and neck, and now move on to their defense. I think the pressure is most certainly on EG. We're going to be heading off to the desk, of course, for the halftime.
Well, thank you very much, uh, guys. Uh, Bala, you all right? You good? That's how you feel right now about that game? <laughs> yeah? Uh, well, let's take a look at the HyperX Reflex real quick because uh, th this was a certified jogger moment. I, this was just so silly. I, th it's not, I mean, that kill's fine. This one right there, that's just <laughs> dumb. And he almost gets the last one because he had gotten the, uh, he got the nade back. He was able to bank it off the wall. Ultimately, I think it was stolen by, oh, it's Boostio. Of course it was Boostio. But that, I mean, that shot on the second kill is just silly. Yeah, just ridiculous. But uh, after all this, a 6-0 comeback after a 6-0 start is just crazy. I'm just mad at that final round. We got an ace from Mr. Fall, and y'all ain't chin. What's wrong with that? That's crazy, actually. I'm with you. I'm with you. I felt like we should have at least had the ace, ace, and he got three, four, and even the 1v1, just we didn't get it. Just crowd. That's just crazy out here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you chant, chant either. Don't that's put true. this on yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. And you, I mean, you might, you've been one of the loud ones, too, actually. That's real talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're slacking there, Bali. You're slacking. But you know who's not slacking? Kiwi. I feel like Jogomo on his side is doing his job, but Kiwi is turning up here as well. Though. Oh, yeah, you absolutely. Hop. Yeah, I mean, he's looked really good. You see it on the on your screen right now. And it, I mean, it hasn't been the quite the Jogomo performance, but Kiwi is, was instrumental in getting foot back to the position that they're in right now. Yeah, he has been, but the job is not done. It is 6-6 six, six at the half foot. If they want map three, they got to close it out. Mitch and Tom, let's see if they can. Well, the map three certainly still a possibility with a scent just around the corner. Defensive side for foot, EG on attack, shouldn't be able to net as much power as they did before. And six straight rounds. Let's talk about momentum. It's certainly in the field of foot right now. So. Let's see if EG can change things up. If their attack is where they'll find a lot more success. You never know after what foot just displayed for us there. Well, that's the thing with EG. They, they've been very good at when they need to pick up the rounds they do. We saw the streak back in the last map and they still closed it out in overtime. The last round is what they took and instead foot could be set up here for a 2-0 victory if they'd managed to close out that comeback. Instead, though, again, a tentative start from either side, patiently watching for any aggression, but it is, again, passive, patient Kiwi watching. Sheriff just trying to boom heads on the other side, and instantly all of the Viper utility goes up, the smokes raining down from above, and an attempted plant as the spam comes through, but it doesn't look like there'll be a denial this time. Nope. No way to stop that spike from being planted. EG had some ideas to go aggressive afterwards, but they've fallen back into defaults. Nice crossfire to play with, Jogamo. First point of contact, and then the swings come in, but he went a little too wide. No one able to trade out on that foot. Managed to find themselves a duel for free. Calm under pressure as well. Players starting to get close to him towards the bath. Now another for foot as they desperately try to hold on to control. EG are just being pushed back. Hardly any damage being done by this squad as foot steamroll in the pistol and find a seven. Yeah, <laughs> they do have to get themselves the defuse. Okay, you know, and Kiwi taking his time to go back and get himself that orb. Maybe surprised that he's the one who needs it considering essentially <laughs> Moj to get the majority of the kills in that one. Well, having a little bit of fun themselves, but no, a, a big start to this one. We've seen both teams on that defensive side claim the pistol, and considering a prime gaming flawless from a 5v5 retake, it's yeah. not something that really comes with high expectations. Something else that might be surprising as well, though, is that with that plant, even with no kills alongside it, EG may be looking to break this trend of seven rounds a little bit early. They have invested heavily, even though you might see a classic onto Demon 1, that is all in on Headhunter bullets, and the rest have gone for those stingers. Well, they're certainly grouping up, trying to use the numbers advantage to their favor, but they've lost Bustio to begin. Jogamo down to 45, oh, still gosh. able to get two? You've got to be joking, this guy! Running around, grabbing a heel, somehow not dealt with there, and then he's looking to fight. Long range with a stinger on Dimash. Now low HP, pressured from every which side. Still somehow clinging on to life, but that doesn't last too much longer. EG, seven rounds in a row they lost, and this is the one that they come out on top in. It's thanks to Jogamo, who had been quiet for a while. Well, that certainly reawakened him. I, I think it is something that was beautifully brought up on the desk by Bala. It's the, the supportive flashbangs. 
the pop over the top here from Ethan. That made those two of the freest kills for Jorgmo. Sure, he still had to hit the shots, but when both of them are completely blind from a sky flash from above, there's just so little that they can do about it. And that trend is broken. A huge thrifty victory coming through on that side of things. And now, well, again, it's going to be the low investment coming out from foot, a real chance to finally get themselves a lead in this map. And instead, now they're just getting mowed down, Com with a double. Not really a chance to retrieve any weaponry. Man, look at that. The close is just as clean. What a resounding response from the evil genius side. And the attackers building up rounds already. Interrupted the win streak of foot. And most definitely upset them, putting them on the back foot. Now, they've got a full buy up on both sides. The EG squad might have some bonus material coming through, in particular, Ethan just on that Careful Spectre. There. They're going to be doing many of the same things that we saw from foot, especially that Viper wall on A. It's, it's just a key part. I mean, Nats was the first one to really bring it to the international stage. Everyone's been doing it since. Oh. That is ridiculous. Another tally. Down there in the crowd, please, uh, right that here. one was straight through the smoke. Yeah, big start to the round as well. Bear in mind that even though the finance is a great free G, this still somewhat works as a bonus. A few weaker weapons in play and the risk taken to get the orb definitely not paying off. Kiwi up top, up close. Something that you can definitely spam for. It's not going to be through a smoke, but it definitely could be through a wall if they are looking to try and clear this spot. The execution looking inevitable, and oh, the information seemingly there. It's in with a showstopper and out of the round for Kiwi. Not a bad trade, though. Being able to take Jogamo down just as the trigger was pressed. So foot, they're behind only by one on the way back through. Post plant set up is strong, though EG grouping up inside of lamps and that could cause major problems nay down in the corner it's just trying to clear out players into the open but it's bustio to find that frag instead great flash but somehow they're still on top of it cracks and mr fallen both finding kills the spike now can be tapped to bait these players into the open ethan will be caught as the wall drops but not eliminated even with a specter he wins out that fight and with 40 hp mr fallen surely is down and out of this round great damage but the time too far gone yeah, he's just going to have to leave that one, unfortunately. He's been having a great few rounds, but it isn't quite enough. And again, it's another round on the board for EG. We, we said it. We expected this one to be the defender's paradise for foot, but the early battles going in their direction and then just the effective trade-outs coming through. The weaker weapons, never a deterrent for players like Ethan. And now sat 9-7 in the lead. It's looking like maybe a bit of a hero rifle onto Mr. Fallen, obviously saved over from the last round. And in fact, he's going to hand that off potentially to another teammate, maybe just allowing them to get the extra shields. For now, at least, it still sits in his hand. Oh, what a shot oh. by Demon. One, another, as he follows up. And he's standing strong, baiting Kiwi in for more. Three quick kills. And EG have put this one to bed. The crowd demanding an ace from this man. You know what? The other two opponents are on the right side. Maybe he's got a chance. Yeah, the rest of the team are actually pushing in the other direction. It just depends if there is going to be that rotation for him. Just a chance to fight into this one alone, clean up the entirety of foot, put them down as we've seen him do so many times before. A couple of players waiting, and he has the chance to fight them. There's the first on the battle, but it isn't going to be happening this time. And a captain takes him out, but he has made space for the rest of the team. It's going to be getting that plan, even farming up the extra orbs for the next round. It is methodical from EG, making sure that no stone is left unturned before they get themselves into this next. There you go. Orbital strike now online for EG. That'll be used in the next round. For this, well, Foot certainly want to go for it. They've got the economy to throw away. They've got two rifles retrieved. Earlier on, this was a Stinger and a Sheriff. 
So with these upgrades, they look to charge forward, see what damage they can deal, and right away it's Jogamo falling. Late flank from Calm. It's going to take quite a while. The plan spot not for it. Molly over already, and that orbital strike might be needed to close out this round, especially if the kills keep going this way. The swing through, and yeah, look, it's being set up. They're going to cost them an ulti already, which. Look, it's better than it looked like it could be for this squad. They've even dropped Bustio on the way back out. The time ultimately too far gone, but the damage, considerable. Yeah, but that's been the main talking point of this second half, damage. Like, there, there hasn't really been much else so far for Foot. They were put down very early in this round by some of the cleanest shots you're ever gonna see. <laughs> oh, the crowd's a little mixed on that one. Oh, we love to see it. Demon One certainly getting his confidence back. 14 to nine right now. You've seen him with a far more convincing score lines for himself. Maybe you can praise Foot for how well they've avoided him at times, but yeah, certainly not in that last round. Let's play. Uh, maybe not in this one. But Door to Force online and looking for some victims early on. Yeah, this is a scary round already hyper-aggressive. Seekers have been thrown through. It Go looks in. like they're just executing directly off the Crazy. back oh! it! In the air, dropped down from above. Death reigns on to foot in this round. And with a Molotov burning them out, this round is already looking over. Two players remain once again. Morge and Crax in a similar position to what we saw in the last round. Do they even go for this? It looks like they're attempting it while hiding within. He actually survived about yeah, 7 HP but that might deter you from going for this any further even the Vipers pit down it, it, or, well it's online it's not gonna go down in this round though not with that low of HP cracks has to open this one wide open for the squad and he's caught Ethan okay now there's an actual chance they've seen the barrel in the corner demon one is down and calm miles away they'll get this half before he even emerges around the corner that's an easy kill onto the planner just one HP a fight now baited but calm he is biting all the time they need EG with another and it's a red bull clutch for calm the thing with this man is wherever you at least expect him to be, that's where he always turns up, never stays static for too long. He's so good at just switching up his position. You could see the players were watching back towards Hooker, expecting him <laughs> to still be in that position. Exactly where you should expect him to be. But always repositioning, always playing the time. He's the exact man you want in those sort of clutch situations. And football. A last attempt to try and slow this one down. They have lost five rounds in a row, exactly the same as what we saw in the last half. It was six in a row before they really got going. The problem is they'll be fighting for overtime if it gets to that position again. A ridiculous thing looking at Jogamo in this map and certainly the previous round, you know, guy wasn't exactly playing the same role on the previous map. He couldn't do some of these flashy things. <laughs> Yeah, the Astra is slightly, slightly, uh, slightly more, I, I guess, nerfing to a player than what you're going to see from that raise. And I want to see a lot more of Jogamo on this. It's 11 to 7, four rounds in the lead. And one thing that EG don't have in their favor is the ult economy. Foot are still able to buy. And they've got a showstopper. Got themselves a Viper's Pit as well and a Null Command. So in a good spot in that regard but it hasn't been a game of ultimates, really. Uh, even at times where Jogamo has that showstopper, you'll see him fire it into a wall, damage himself, and then shoot two people in the head <laughs> in the most ridiculous way imaginable. Well, here we go, though. But still have a purchase, some ults to play with, but just look at the sheer pace, just leading the way with the judge. It's got to be infuriating. Not the start that they were looking for, but they've at least got rid of him. I, I guess that's the silver lining. The man who's been causing so many issues is dead in this round. A lot of information garnered as well. The knife connecting onto multiple players. You can see the jump spot out towards long as well. Maybe spotting for any lurkers, any rotation back. But again, EG is what they love to do on the attack. Just pausing, stopping for a moment before re-aggressing. It's the Tiger that gets them back out there to try and take some control. They've spotted cracks. The Viper's Pit, that's going to cut off, well, not fully cut off the spawn rotations, but certainly it's a big annoyance to them. And with the safety now around Lamps, 
It's a great spot to play from if they can get this spike planted. Now, that is a different task altogether with Foot potentially having utility just like that to push them back. And they even have that showstopper later on if needed. 35 seconds. And again, they're waiting for a mistake to be made on the side of Foot. So far, that's not coming through. 30 seconds. They've got to move onto the site. Bustio can't get them the space they need. And now they look elsewhere, getting out through the teleporter and leaving the Viper's Pit to fall. Foot will have a four versus two retake, but there's no way to deny this plant. No, that, that's at least something. Viper's Pit, of course, gone, expended on the other side. And this is definitely one of the best scenarios Normally, Calm expected to be lurking back, but with no util, they're going to double up here. Know that they're a little closer around these angles and just look at Mr. Fall, and it should be for free. Somehow, Calm still managing to find one, looking for a little oh. bit more, and they may have been low on health, but Foot will live to fight another day. Defusal coming through, a lot expended in this round for the Turkish side but they will get themselves to eight, and maybe, just maybe, this can be the start of the build back. That was a ton of damage done, but I like the idea on the way back through. Kiwi was like 39 health. You pop that showstopper, come around the corner, you probably don't even get a chance to see them, let alone readjust and fire. So instead, just uses the blast pack to push out his teammates a little bit, get out of captain a wider angle, and triple peek it in a, in a way where you just don't line up. I like to see that. Oh, I didn't see that for Jogamo. He's playing anti-flash on the way through. I know, he jumped backwards to kill Mosh. I think he jumped over his head and then oh, shot right. him. <laughs> well, got taken down after. Look, this is, it's, an, it's a hiccup for EG. These kind of rounds are going to happen now. It's their real chance. Jogamo on the corner right away Loving with the, the blast pace. pack. They've denied them any B-long control. They're going to just use the Tiger just in case somebody snuck back around that corner. And with that, They've got control over the orb, which is exactly what you want when Jogamo is one away from a showstopper. That's what I thought. But actually, they're just looking straight towards the site. Get that orb from a fight. Jogamo's being consistent with it so far. Bustio doing it for the first. But here's a showstopper oh. on the other side. And low HP, Jogamo on five. The nade has hunted him down. Yeah, Demon One's able to duck out of there, but the other players are left players stuck around. Com's going to be spammed out through the wall as well. And now. Well, we saw a crispy 3k earlier. He's going to need to find himself for 50 seconds left. He's got time to play with, waiting for that Viper screen to fade. But there's still so much left to find. They know he's still around this angle, looking to peek him all together. The band of brothers that is foot will be able to continue this climb back once again. And now, actually, the money's run out for EG. Yes, time to penny pinch. This is the round where they've got their showstopper. Can't see them committing it. See just how close that was to the double up, but yeah. well, the nade was there after the two kills. You're in a pretty comfortable spot. Two behind. It's been an incredible matchup for Foot so far. They've been hot on the heels of EG, but that's the story of the game. They've been behind. Only barely taking the lead going into Pearl and, well, weren't able to close it out. You gotta hope it won't be the same story this time around. Pistols. Same in this one as well. Take the lead from the pistol instantly, lose the second. They've right away had their hands ever so close to a map, but it's still a, a very real possibility that this could end up as a 2 0. We've already seen these sort of rounds work well for the side of EG, the SMGs. And the second, Jorgamo is actually going to use that Beautiful. showstopper, but denied immediately. The null command will remove the one real threat that was in this round, but there is still going to be that after plan. That's the thing, you know, EG have been scary in these post plants, even with pistols. You got to give them a chance. Jorgamo not able to use his ultimate and will eventually go down. The rest of the squad now, you've got to wonder what else do they have? And I really didn't think we'd see that committed right now. The orbital strike and the showstopper used in a round they didn't fully invest in the rifles for. They've got a molly for the post plant. Mr. Fallen goes down, he didn't get it half. That's a key detail because now Foot gonna really feel the pressure of that clock. Up close, Cracks is dealt with. Another for Bustio, the same molly. And the snake bite down makes it so easy. They've done it in a round where they had next to nothing. A MasterCard Thrifty is found, and EG are one away from taking the series. Unbelievable. And even when it seems like this team have absolutely nothing to play with, 
the combinations of utility, the delay, time was perfect, the Molotov, the orbital strike, you had the snake bites, the orb, everything combined, and then the shots connected by Bustio. It is understandable the frustration on the side of Foot's coach because realistically, this was the chance for them to finally get themselves back close to their opponents. And now they're close to a 2-0 defeat. A shotgun, a Viper's Pit used, that works. and an operator for Kiwi, but this is still not a good spot for them to be in. A round up against Pistols to put you in this position once again, but not having to win it out. Win out one round to push up to an overtime, stay neck and neck. No, no, no. Much, much worse than that. Three in a row against a squad of EG. They've done it with pistols moments ago. A showstopper used, got them right nothing. Here. An orbital strike delayed a matter of seconds. And it didn't even come down to the time in the end. For EG, this is a promising position. Tiger through, clearing out all of this space. And well, they have, oh no! A shot to Kiwi. That might just have sealed their fate because now they should go rotating. <laughs> Drifting towards that other side. Uh, whoops, whoops. <laughs> oh, it's oh. amazing from Jogamo! I don't know if you'll see a kill like that ever again! He blows packs a Boomba and then spams him through the wall! That is ridiculous! And now, just leaving two players standing between them. Impressive stuff as they all wrap back around the orbital strike to delay, but it's left all on to Adakap. Did one man standing, and he stands no more. EG will take themselves into the playoff stage as they 2-0 this series. I thought for a second there was a chance here, but Foot falter at the last hurdle, 13-9 and 15-13. America's number one is number one for a reason. They're looking incredible all tournament long. And now they've got some time to prepare. That's the scariest thing. Yeah. Give these guys a couple days to get better. I don't know what we're going to see. I, I absolutely adore this team. Like watching them play on so many different levels, the support player, I think Ethan has to be one of, if not the, the best support player in the world right now. Like I, I think he looks incredible with all of the different flashes he's putting through. The Jorgamo on Rays, I think if he's on any other team, he's yeah. playing Rays every game. Uh, <laughs> it's just because he's got a teammate in Demon 1. I, it genuinely is so much fun seeing this team perform, but it has to be said, this time out, football competitive. They, 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 like last time around, there was a blowout 